Well, hello everyone, and welcome to another edition of Let's Paint a Mini. So I figured that we'd be busting out some more of our uh, Doom Reaper miniatures, and I thought we would move right on to the Imp. Now, I really, really like this miniature a lot. And so what we're going to do is we're going to look at the, uh, the various colors on the original pixel art there. And as you can kind of see, it's uh, mostly just brown. That's, that's mostly the whole Imp. He's just got kind of a, a brown base with some, some lighter brown highlights and all that. And then the spikes and the, the teeth and all that are just kind of white. We're not going to do white just because that tends to be, uh, I mean, you know, a little bit more boring. And, you know, this Imp is probably not the most hygienic, so they're not going to be pearly white or anything like that. So we're going to go ahead and uh, uh, get started on this guy here, and uh, we're going to be using uh, various colors everywhere. So the first thing, though, that we're going to start with, I think, is going to be the mouth and the fireball. So what I've got out is I've got some fire red right here. Well, and my, my paint nozzle is all stopped up. Yeah, much better. Okay, I don't think I'm going to need that much paint. And what I'm going to use is I'm going to use a uh, medium reaper round brush here. This is a new brush. This is one that's in newer condition that I uh, uh, feel like I need to start using because my old one is starting to get in a pretty rough shape. Now, I'm not going to do anything super insane with the mouth here. All I'm going to do is just kind of get the entirety of the mouth, and I'm not going to worry about the teeth at all. If I get some paint on the teeth, it's not going to be a big deal, but for now, let's just get the interior of the mouth, just like that. It gives his, his mouth, you know, a little bit more of a, of a red kind of look there, and that's what we're looking for there. All right, and the next step, like I said, we're going to do the fireball as well. If you get some paint onto his fingers or anything, I don't think it'll be a huge deal. I think that you'll be in good shape, but just kind of look out for that. All right, and that's it for the fireball there, so that's looking pretty well so far. All right, so I'm gonna rinse my brush off. And then after we get that uh, that mouth and that fireball nice and red, I think the next thing that I'm gonna move on to is the actual skin itself. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna get out my earth brown color here, and this will be a base coat for all of the skin around the imp. I'm also going to be using a, a slightly larger brush. This is actually the same type of brush that I was just using, but it's a much older one that's in much rougher shape. As you can see, the, the tip of it is a lot more um, kind of open and flayed, and it just covers a little bit more surface area a little bit more quickly. The only thing that, uh, you know, uh, would be annoying about this is that the detail isn't that great, but we're not too worried about the detail since all we're doing is, well, you know, the, the whole body. So let's just go ahead and knock it out real quick. Now as far as the spikes go, the spikes coming off of the um, imp's body and, and all that good stuff, I would say don't worry about those. If you want to go around them, you can go around them, otherwise if you get this, this brown color on them too, I don't think that that will be a big deal. But yeah, like I said, we, we don't really want them to be white. We're going to go over them with uh, just like a, a pale color later on and that will make them look a little bit kind of bonier. A little bit more realistic, I would say. I really, really like the sculpt of this mini, and I really, really like the spine coming out of his back there. I think that that's just an awesome little uh, detail that the sculptor put on there. I think that it looks really cool. All right, and now we've got a nice earth brown coat all over the imp there. So I'm going to rinse that brush off now. All right, and the next thing that I want to do is I really want to bring out all of the uh, highlights of the skin. So we're going to use a much lighter shade of brown now called Leather Brown. This is probably my favorite shade of brown. It's very, very versatile. You can do a lot of things with it. And we're going to do a light bright dry brushing thing uh, across the whole miniature. So what I've got here is a small sized Citadel dry brush and I'm just going to take my dry brush and I'm just going to very slowly work my way into my little paint puddle here and I'm going to wipe off most of the paint. That's why they call it dry brushing is because you have such a small amount of paint on the bristles uh, that 
it's almost completely dry and that's why they call it dry brushing. Okay. And then we're just gonna go ahead and go over basically the entire miniature, all of the muscle, all of the little fibers, all of the muscle fibers and all that uh, should come out just a little bit brighter with this shade of leather brown going across the whole guy. You might get a little bit of the um, leather brown onto the teeth whenever you're doing this. Not a huge deal. We're going to use um, that, uh, that pale color later on. Whenever we do all the spikes and all that, we're going to do the same thing with the teeth. So don't worry about it if you get a little bit of paint onto the mouth. It'll be fine. Same thing with the fireball. When you're dry brushing the fingers like this, you might get a little bit of the leather brown on the fireball. Also, not a huge deal, because we're going to dry brush the fireball itself with another color too. So don't worry about it. It'll be fine. And we're about done, actually. With this step, that is. Still got a few more things to do. I think that the imp is going to be a pretty straightforward one. Yeah, there we go. Okay, so now we've got a nice... Nice brown imp with some nice color variation there. So I'm going to rinse off my dry brush. And the next thing that I want to do is I want to bring out the lighting of that fireball and, and a little bit of that fireball coming down his arm a little bit too. So I'm going to take out this fire orange color and we're going to be doing some more dry brushing. And we're going to dry brush the fireball as well as just a little bit of his arm. Whoops, kind of nudged my camera there a little bit. And we're going to, we're going to dry brush the fireball and also just a little bit of the arm that's holding it. And that will make it look a little bit more like there's an actual kind of light coming off of the, uh, the fireball, which would uh, make sense, given that it is a ball made of fire. <laughs> there we go, we just got a little bit of the light coming off of his arm, coming down his, uh, you know, his bicep a little bit there. And I think that that will, and just a little bit, you know, on the back of his arm here too, a little bit like on his tricep and that kind of thing, make sure you get the forearm pretty well. Yeah, there you go. That just adds a little bit of, a uh, little bit of lighting to his, to his fireball there. That looks great. Okay, I'm going to rinse that off. And I think that what I want to do with the actual spikes is I kind of, I, I want to use, like I said, a fairer color, but I kind of want it to stand out a little bit. So I'm going to use this golden blonde color. It's like, it's kind of like pale skin meets just a little bit of yellow. That's what this color is. And I feel like that's going to be a pretty nice color for the spikes. Now, like I was saying earlier, when we're doing the spikes, we're not just doing the spikes. We're also going to do the teeth. And this is where we're going to get into our, our little itty bitty micro detail brush game here. So I've got a little tiny itty bitty micro detail brush and I'm just gonna really lightly poke a little bit of this blonde color onto each little tiny tooth. There we go, that gives them a real set of chompers right there. That's good, okay. Now I don't necessarily wanna use that brush for all of the spikes. I think that I'll just go back to using my, uh, my large uh, Reaper round brush here, or medium Reaper round brush, I think. And uh, I think that I can just safely dab all of the spikes protruding from his body with this blonde color, this golden blonde. Don't forget to get the uh, claw tips on his fireball here, or his fireball hand rather. There we go. That's not too bad. So now we've got our, our spiky imp there. He's looking pretty good. Okay, I'm going to rinse that brush off. 
All right, and to be honest, we really don't have that much else to do. All I kind of want to do is get some shade on him. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take out some Citadel brand Agrax Earthshade. So we're going to do that. And then after that dries, we're going to go ahead and finish it up with his eyes because he's got glowing red eyes. But I wanted to do the eyes last. All right, and I'm just going to take out my uh, medium Citadel shade brush. We're not going to go too crazy across the whole the whole imp here. We are just going to you know, very lightly go over pretty much the whole guy. Get his uh, his mouth here, just to help uh, cover up any little minor imperfections or anything like that. And when we did the teeth. Now the only thing that I would say is that I'm actually not going to use it on the arm with which we did the dry brushing of the orange, because the whole thing is that that arm is going to be just a little bit lighter than the rest of the mini, so we don't want the shade to darken that arm. All right. And then for the base itself, I'm going to use a lot more. I'm just going to really splotch it on there because I, I just want this sort of texture of the base to uh, have a little bit more depth than just a, a single flat layer. All right, there we go. And then, like I said, before we finish up, I do kind of want to get the eyes. So I'm going to go ahead and let him fully dry, and I'll be back to do his eyes in just a minute. All right, and now he's still not quite completely dry. You can still see there's a little bit of wetness on the base there a little bit, but he's wet around the face, which is what we were looking for. So I'm just gonna take out some fire red. Again, I kind of wanted to save this for the last step because I wanted the shade to be on there and all that good stuff. Uh, so I didn't want to do the eyes, you know, before everything else. Uh, that's why we're cranking out the red paint again. That's okay, okay, so. Uh, and I'm just going to crank out my little tiny itty bitty micro detail brush here and I'm just going to really carefully dot some eyes on there and that'll call it a day with this miniature. All right. And there you go, I think that that's gonna about do it for that little imp. Maybe brighten him up just a little tiny bit more. Yep, I think that that'll about do it. So there you go, everybody. That's one of the, that's the uh, uh, Reaper Doom Imp from Reaper Miniatures. That's the imp from the Doom video game. And there you go, I'm pretty happy with how he turned out, actually. I like his uh, I like his shade, I like his fireball, I like the light coming off of the fireball and all that good stuff. So there you go. Well, I will definitely be doing more of the Reaper Doom miniatures, so stay tuned for those. If you like the video, go ahead and throw it a like. If you want to see more um, hobby stuff in general, more miniature stuff, go ahead and subscribe to my channel. The, my wife and I will play board games and do all sorts of fun stuff there. I'll definitely be doing all of the uh, Reaper Doom miniatures. If you want to see a particular one next, just let me know in the comments below, and, uh, you know, I'm just going to go through them in, you know, whatever order that I like, but if somebody wants to see a particular one first or last or anything like that, then uh, we'll do that. Uh, you can follow me on Twitter. I'm at twitter.com slash paintamini. My uh, username is paintamini. So, uh, yeah, I'll po post stuff occasionally. You don't have to, you know, follow me if you don't want to, but uh, that'll about do it. So thank you again, everybody, for watching. We'll see you next time.